we have to prove the law of reflection from fermat's principle for this purpose we first take a reflecting surface and a light from the source coming to this direction and after reflecting to the surface it goes to another direction and this is the normal to the surface we take the source p the ultimate point to q this is o this is n and this as a this is b now the angle of the incident light to normal is theta 1 and the reflecting light to normal is theta 2 we have to prove that theta 1 equal to theta 2 to prove the law of reflection now take this distance as x and if the total distance of the surface is d then this is d minus x that is ob now we join this two point now lights come from p goes to q so the total time taken by lights to go from p to o is op by v plus o to q for o q by v and v is the velocity in the medium of light and we can write op as root of r h1 square plus x square by v and as oq is equal to root over h2 square plus d minus x whole square from fermat's principle we know that the total time taken by light would be either maximum or minimum so dt dx is equal to 0 so we have to derivative on it with respect to x that is 1 by v is constant and the derivative of root 1 this 1 by 2 root h1 square plus x square into derivative of 2x square that is 2x plus derivative of it is 1 by 2 root over into derivative of d minus x whole square is 2 d minus x into of minus x that is minus 1 here 2 by 2 cancelled out so remain x by root over h1 square plus x square minus would be there into d minus x by root over h2 square plus d minus x whole square now this x by root over h1 square plus x square can be written as sin theta 1 why this is x and this is h1 so <coughs> this is x and so this is is root over h1 square plus x square this angle is also theta 1 and this is also theta 2 so we can write sin theta 1 is equal to x by root over h1 square plus x square and sin theta 2 is equal to d minus x by h2 square plus d minus x whole square now putting this value in our main equation 
we get this is equal to sin theta 1 get sin theta 1 minus this sin theta 2 and from format principle this is equal to 0 dt dx equal to 0 so this is 0 so from this we get sin theta 1 equal to sin theta 2 that mean theta 1 equal to theta 2 okay this is the law of reflection i mean angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection